Next up, senior. Coppin State, Division One signee, whoop, whoop. Kiana Mills. Well, there's another kid who I saw play in the middle school church. Sorry, that's where I was. Um, you know, when you saw Kiana when she was about five foot six, she's kind of thick back then, and everybody kept looking at her, going, "Man, this kid can play." And then about six months later, you saw her again, and she's about four inches taller, a little bit leaner, still had great soft hands. Yeah, but she didn't come to our school. Well, one day, again, Kiana shows up at Gulf High School. I said, hi, how are you? And it began. Um, don't worry about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, getting back to Kiana. Now, Kiana Mills, um, first team, uh, Sunshine Athletic Conference, West Division. Uh, second team, all North Suncoast, all, or, yeah, all North Suncoast, I don't mention all Suncoast. And a lot of times when, I, when coaches stand up here and they read what North Suncoast is or Sunshine Athletic Conference, let me fill everybody in real quick. Sunshine Athletic Conference is the conference we play in Pasco County. The North Suncoast is Pasco, Hernando Counties, and all Suncoast is Pinellas, Pasco, Hillsboro, and Hernando County. So when you get an award that you're getting multiple counties, as did Lonnie, as did Kiana, and then um, I don't know the lady who I haven't brought up here yet. Um, it's it's huge to put us on the map. You know, Kiana did a phenomenal job. Um, the past 18 months for Kiana has probably been a blur of basketball, like it will be for some of you in this room, boys and girls. You know, Kiana was with a traveling AAU team, um, and she played in front of a coach, an assistant named Sydney Rakes from Coppin State, somewhere in Louisiana. And I got a call about three days later from this coach, wanting to know about Kiana. So we went back and forth and we talked a little bit. Um, being that Coppin State is in Baltimore, Maryland, downtown Baltimore, the head coach was not extremely enticed, not because she didn't think, he didn't think she could play, but because of the fact that it was so far away, it's hard to recruit kids like that. We, as a basketball community, raised enough money to put Kiana on a plane so that he could see her play. She showed up there on a Saturday, uh, Saturday morning. Uh, two hours later, getting off the plane, she strapped up her, her Nikes and went out there and played and hung out with the girls on the team that night. The next morning, the coach woke up and said, I got to offer this kid a scholarship. Uh, Kiana is the recipient of a uh, Division I scholarship, which means her room tuition um, and books will be paid for for the next four years by playing basketball if she can do the job that she needs to do up there. Key, you have been tremendous for me the last couple of years. There's any time you've been hurt, sick, or ill. Nowhere in my mind did I ever worry if you were going to play. I always knew you were going to play. Now, to what level I didn't know, but you always brought it. You always were there to lean on. We knew if we needed something in a situation, we could go to Keanu Mills. Take that drive. Take the work ethic that we hope we've given you and make us proud that far from home. Congratulations.